I'd say probably like winning the double A championship. Uh, I believe it's a minor midget was my favorite hockey memory. Mostly because, you know, we were a lot of guys that got cut from AAA, kind of faced some adversity, and we, uh, I don't know, we were just a really tight team. And we won, uh, we were almost like 29 and 3 or 27 and 3. Like, we were a really, really good team. We were ranked highly in Ontario. And uh, we just doubled some adversity at the start of the year. But after that, we were, uh, we were pretty tight knit. And, uh, you know, that was one of my favorite memories for sure. Uh, well, I was born in Ottawa, born and raised. I pretty much lived in uh, the Westboro area my entire life. I went to Broadview Public School, elementary school. I went to Nepean High School, which is right next door. Uh, it was nice to get to walk to school, come home, eat lunch, basically. I uh, played a lot of sports in high school. I, uh, I got cut, I think, I believe grade 10, 11, and 12 from AAA. So I had some spare time to play uh, extracurricular sports. And uh, so I played, you know, like grade 10, I played basketball, volleyball, soccer, baseball, track and field, uh, cross country, you name it. Um, so I definitely, I think I benefited from having maybe more cross training than just focusing solely on hockey, looking back. Um, and I just, you know, I had time to focus on school and figure out uh, what I wanted to do and get the marks I needed. Uh, I think kind of just dedicating myself in the gym to training uh, you know a lot of guys they make AAA and the difference between players might not be that much uh, but I think you kind of create that difference in the gym in the off season so I mean pretty much since grade 11 or grade 10 summer in the summer it's almost you know five days a week training and a lot of guys do it now but uh, being able to do that in the right spots you know I trained at OSPC for three or four years and they're not uh, I think they're capital strength now, and since then I've moved to Canadian strength, so I've benefited, even last summer I benefited from training beside, you know, guys like Calvin DeHaan and, and uh, Chris Kelly, and just kind of learning from the pro guys on, you know, what they do to stay at that level. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you're not even like, you're not asking them questions on like what they do, but it's just, you know, kind of watching their work ethic. You know, every day they come in, it's kind of like set everything else at the side of the door and they work for two hours and it's just no questions asked. They do everything they need to. My goal right now is to earn a Division One scholarship playing Sibley hockey and I want to uh, I want to do a degree in business and eventually my long-term goal is to do an MBA. Yeah. So I work uh, at uh, CIRA, it's the Canadian Internet Registration Authority. So I work, uh, technically, my official name is a term employee, uh, but I do work in sales. So I generate leads, you know, I clean up, we'll get lists of all sorts of uh, websites and how many zones they host on their website, stuff like that. But basically, I'm generating leads for a product and I've had sales training. It's just been great, great experience just to be in that kind of atmosphere. And it's at Lansdowne, so our office overlooks TD Place and we're kind of in that little community, which is pretty cool. I think I'm a power forward. I think that's, you know, I play my best hockey when I'm kind of playing a physical, in your face, you know, kind of under the opponent's skin sort of game style. And just kind of, you know, not even hesitating, just making hits in their own area in the other team's zone, kind of forechecking hard. Um, and I think that's, that's when I'm at my best. Yeah, I think my work ethic has followed me through different teams, you know, whether it was the jump to Junior B or Junior A. Uh, and I think my defensive responsibility makes a huge difference. Uh, you know, whether, you know, even if the play's a little bit faster than I'm used to, I'm always able to kind of go through that checklist and make sure I'm, you know, taking care of all the, uh, all the business in the defensive end, yeah. And winning face-offs as well, I'd say, as a centerman. Yeah. You know, I like to think I'm a fast player, and I've, uh, you know, I've had success as a penalty killer in junior A, and I think I'd be able to translate that at the uh, college level. But I also think that, uh, you know, I bring a fairly high-level face-off guy, and I'm pretty responsible on my own end. I'm a very honest player, and uh, I think that responsibility translates well to the NCAA level. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I'm size. I have size. I'm a pretty big player, and I think. Uh, you know, I'm an athletic guy, so I do have some speed as well, and I think 
some of my best offensive chances that I generate are coming down the wing and being able to beat or out muscle defenders to the front of the net. And even just, you know, kind of in the corners, being able to protect pucks and battle. Even when I was, you know, I used to be maybe six feet, like 160, so I was a lot slimmer, but I was always able to kind of play with that grit and intensity in the corner, and I think I still possess that, but with more size, I'm able to win pucks and cycle and, you know, possess the puck down low. I think I need to work on my offensive touch, and that's some of the feedback, you know, I've gotten from other schools as well is that, uh, you know, generating chances, but also finding those chances, whether it's in a scrum or in a crowd of pucks, being able to kind of have that, uh, just that quick reflex to be able to put pucks in the net and, you know, generate a chance, beat somebody wide, cut to the net, and having that kind of just cutthroat finish, you know. Yeah, I think just being on the ice more, uh, working on, you know, finding a skill coach, working with him, just doing small kind of quick reflex things. Uh, put on size for me. I've always been a lean guy. That's always the feedback I've gotten to from coaches is put on size and you know now compared to last year I came into the gym I think 173, 174. I came into training this summer around 196. So I put on 20 pounds already but you know I want to break that 200 pound threshold. And at Canadian Strength, it's been pretty good. Even through the year, I was able, it was right by my house, I was able to train during the hockey season, which was great. Uh, but now all the hockey players are back, so all the pro guys are back, we're all training together. And we've kind of passed that, you know, muscle, or kind of baseline training, so to speak, and we're getting into the heavy lifting. And a lot of the emphasis we have is uh, our coach, Sean Young, is a sprint, uh, a sprint coach, he used to run in the Olympics as a, as a guide for uh, blind runners. Uh, so he's got a ton of technical training for sprinting, so we do a lot of work uh, just with mechanics and just being more efficient. And so a lot of the stuff we do, you know, it'll be heavy lifting, but also mixed in with, uh, with sprint work and some mechanic technical stuff. Yeah, I think in high school I was always a fairly strong student. I took uh, pretty much all the science courses, I took all the math courses, everything, you know that I needed to go into university and I, I applied to Carleton leaving high school into uh, biology and biotechnology and that's where I got accepted which worked out well because I was able to take classes part-time there uh, but since then I've kind of realized you know that maybe it's not for me and that I want to transition into the field of business and that's what I, I aspire to do so I've been taking classes part-time as an elective in business to kind of confirm that that's what I want to do as I play hockey and pursue NCAA. I think my work ethic stands out a lot. Um, you know, I think I'm, I'm an honest player, so I don't, you know, I might not be the guy that's going to go out there and win the point race, but I think I bring a defensive presence as a centerman and as a forward to every game that helps out a lot in our own end, and whether it's winning face-offs or cutting off, you know, cycles or other teams' offensive possession in their own end, I'm able to get the puck out of the defensive zone and into the offensive zone, I think that's definitely one of my strong points. Uh, but outside of that, you know, I've always been a good guy in the room. I like to think I'm a leader. Um, and I just, you know, I think I bring a winning culture. <laughs>